people, it is me, Porky2007, and welcome back to another video. And yes, it's been a while since we done a, since I done a review, but I got two new stuff that I can review. One of them you have to wait till Friday or September 1st or the 1st of September. But today we are going to review something that I got from Walmart for um $20 or $21. And that would be the Porto Costa Race 5 Pack. Yeah, this is a brand new 5-pack that I found at Walmart. It comes with Lane McQueen, Shutoroki, um, what's your name again? Miguel Camino, Lewis Hamilton, and Raul Saul. Pretty sure I mispronounced that wrong, but anywho, without wasting more time, let's begin! Before we start this review, let's just see the packaging for a bit. As you can see, it uses the typical multi-pack packaging with Lane McQueen on the bottom left corner, that unnecessary metal logo on the top left corner and the cars logo on the top right corner and we can see the name of the fire pack which is Porto Costa Race in front of this tire track some design and the background shows Porto Costa just as a reminder of why this fire pack is called Porto Costa Race because it shows a picture or an image of Porto Costa and which we'll take a look at the back it shows the same Porto Costa background as the front, but you can see more of it. And it comes with Lightning McQueen, or specifically Lightning McQueen with racing wheels, Shutoroki, Miguel Camino, Lewis Hamilton, and Raul Saru. So yeah, let's um, now let's open this five pack. Alright, so I got everything out of its packaging. Now let's review the cars. Let's start off with World Grand Prix Lightning McQueen, or specifically Lightning McQueen with racing wheels because, well, he does have racing wheels. <laughs> Alrighty then, so yeah, let's take a look at this diecast. Let's compare it to the Cars 1 Lightning McQueen. And as you can see, it is, a, it is a different mold. I mean, for one, the mouth is a lot different. And also, um, it seems to be a little taller, maybe a little more round. Also, the back, the bumper sticks out a lot on the Cars 1 Lightning McQueen, while this one, it doesn't really stick out a lot. Also, check out the underside, which this Lightning McQueen doesn't have that much detailing compared to the Cars 1 Lightning McQueen. And also, this one has the ducktail spoiler, while this one just has the, the, the typical design for a spoiler. So yeah, let's just take a look at the Slayer McQueen. So as you can see on the hood, there is the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup logo in front of this flame design. And we can see these two headlights. Yeah, they're headlights, not stickers anymore because he does get headlights at the beginning of the movie. And we can see the 95 in front of this flame lightning, lightning bolt background, which is kind of similar to the Cars 3 Lady McQueen. Because, you know, it starts off as a lightning bolt and it ends off with a flame. I actually kind of like that design. And as you can see, we see the 95 in front of this American flag, and that's all inside of this World Grand Prix logo. We see the World Grand Prix all in all. And, well, we, we, we technically already talk about the wheels because they're racing wheels. You can see the gas cap. Oh, it has two gas caps. Hmm, interesting. Or you can see the spoiler. At the back, he actually has actual tail lights. World Grand Prix, the 95 World Grand Prix logo, powered by all in all, and the uh, American flag. Same detailing on this side, but in a different position because, well, this is a different side of McQueen. You see the 95, the Lady McQueen signature, which kind of does look like it's, yeah, it definitely does look like it's, uh, I definitely did got a misprint, but it's just a tiny detail that it doesn't really matter. Took out the underside, Mattel, made in, made in Thailand, almost said China. So yeah, that is it for Royal Grand Prix Lightning McQueen. Not, there's nothing special about this. It's just a, well, Lightning McQueen with racing wheels. Now let's check out the other cars, such as Shooter Roki, the number seven Japanese racer for the Royal Grand Prix. And as you can see, he has this very serious face expression. Looks like he's gonna growl, judging by that mouth. And as you can see, we can see his two headlights. 
something in Japanese 7. I can't read nor speak Japanese because I'm not from Japan. As you can see, we can see this number 7, the World Grand Prix logo, and the all in all logo. It kind of has this flame design, which I really do like. And it's in white and red because, well, he's representing Japan and the Japanese flag has red and white. Very best opportunity to use this design. <laughs> and here, um, so yeah, at the back is very uninteresting. It just shows these tiny red lines, which are supposed to be the taillights, and these gray parts. Yeah, it's kind of boring to look at. See these little two indents? Yeah, th those could have been the taillights, but I guess not. And same detailing on this side, although it is missing the World Grand Prix logo though. And I really do like the shape of this character. It looks, it looks unique and I like it. He's probably one of my favorite World Grand Prix racers. Probably my favorite of all the 11 World Grand Prix racers. Was it, is it 11? I don't know, but my favorite is Jeff Corvette for obvious reasons. As it like the underside, it's mostly just blank. For the exception of the legal information, the, the code, and the stamp. That's it. So yeah, that is it for Shuto Roki, a very nice looking racer, and I really do like the shape of this character. And next up will be Miguel Camino. So yeah, we got Miguel Camino, the Spanish racer for the World Grand Prix, and this design is heavily based off the Spanish flag. I mean, we can see the little crest, and um, the orange, and the different shades of oranges, yellows, reds, whatever. Although I'm pretty sure there's only like one shade, but whatever. His design is heavily based off of the Spanish flag. He kind of has this very chill face expression like, what's up? <laughs> and as you can see, you can see the number five, Royal Grand Prix, all in all, the exhaust pipe, I'm assuming. Same detailing on this side. And for some reason, his windows aren't colored. Is that intentional or is that a mistake? I don't know. But here's a mistake that Mattel did, which they haven't fixed since this sidecast was released, and that would be the spoiler. It's supposed to be black, but it's red for some reason. I mean, I, I wish it was black, but I'm okay with this red spoiler because the black can, um, you know, stand out, not in a good way. More like in a. I mean, yeah, it's accurate, but. I mean, it's not really gonna look good. So yeah, I'm kind of glad that they made the spoiler red because, I mean, it looks nicer than the black spoiler. At the back, you see the two taillights, the number five, the Spanish flag, Oak and Pre, powered by all in all. We can see these limbs, or <laughs> rims, and they, and they do look nice. Oh yeah, the two headlights, I forgot. And at the bottom, there's not that much detailing other than this rectangle, the code, the date stamp, and all the rest of the legal junk. And the gas cap, which is just right there. So yeah, that is it for Miguel Camino, a very nice looking car. And I really do like the design because it's heavily based off of the Spanish flag. But um, yeah, that is it for Miguel Camino. Next up, we have Lewis Hamilton, the number two British and Grenadier racer. So I guess he's racing for both. As you can see, he has this very serious face expression with that grin and his eye expression. His two weird view mirrors, the two headlights, and he's mostly this gray, dark gray color. And the only standout detail is um, this yellow line, th these two yellow lines, which go from under his spoiler to um, near his headlights. So yeah, as you can see the number two, these three dots, and this this dot right there next to his windows, which by the way, he has windows unlike Miguel Camino. I mean, then again, Miguel Camino not having windows, I'm pretty sure that's an intentional design. All right, let's take a look at the bag. We can see um, the two tail lights, World Grand Prix logo, powered by all in all, the number two, and the British flag and the Grenadier flag mixed together. And we can see these two exhaust pipes on the left side and these and these other two exhaust pipes on the right side. And the bottom is pretty blank with only the legal information, the date stamp and the rivets and these parts. I mean, then again, I mean, then again, 
his design is mostly just blank with only these two lines and the logo, or not the logo, the number and these dots. So yeah, it makes sense, I guess. Oh yeah, spoiler, has a bottom yellow line and the Royal Grand Prix logo. Also, we can see these wheels, which has these yellow outlines and the rims. So yeah, that is it for Lewis Hamilton, the the number two British and Grenadier racer. So I guess there's two British racers, Lewis Hamilton and Nigel Gearsley, I guess. So yeah, let's move on to our final racer, which is Raoul Saru, the number six French racer. So yeah, he has this blue design, GRC, and he has this very um happy face expression, I guess, with these two um headlights, his mirrors. I mean, he doesn't have windows, but I, I but I can definitely say that uh, that's an intentional design. GRC, the number six, World Grand Prix, all in all, he has this blue, yellow, and red, which represent the French flag. You can see this red spoiler with World Grand Prix, and at the back. He doesn't, oh yeah, he does have tail lights there up here. Along with the number six, powered by all in all, the French flag, and Volcan Pre, and the four um, exhaust pipes. And you can see these rims, and at the bottom, okay, there's more detailing at the bottom than the rest of the Volcan Pre racers. So yeah, I really do like that detail. And um, yeah, that is it for um, Raul Saru. Now let's get into the conclusion. So that is it for the review of the Protocosa 5 pack. And um, what do I think of it? I mean, if you want to collect all the World Grand Prix racers like me, I highly recommend this because, well, I mean, um, it comes with five World Grand Prix racers. You just need to collect six, I, I think. I don't know how many racers are in the World Grand Prix, but. Anyway, so yeah, that is it for this. Review, if you want to collect all the World Grand Prix racers, I recommend this because um, it comes with 5 out of the 11, I think, World Grand Prix racers. So yeah, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to join the Red Axle Discord server, link in the description. And unfortunately, uh, judging by um, where I'm looking, I don't have um, Boulder anywhere, so yeah. All we can do is just say PNG image of the Lego Boulder piece, so... Boulder!